Pandas Group by Video 2. So, welcome. We're in Video 2, Pandas Group by Data Analytics Ireland. In our previous video, we would have looked at um, grouping by, but more using columns. Today, we're actually going to use by using values within those columns. So, there's five different examples, I think, here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five different examples. I'm going to take you through them, so hopefully you get some benefit out of them. It's a lead on from an addition from the last video, uh, so let's get stuck into it. So we have a data set here, um, basically just got sales and value, uh, we'll become uh, in a second, um, give you, show you exactly what that's about, there's some more, uh, more than one value here, so there's a value here for two values for Carlo. Um, if we go down to two values for Dublin and two values for Mayo, so on and so forth. Not everything has two values, but Donegal as well as two values. But we're doing that for a reason. Um, so let's get stuck into it. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to aggregate them. And essentially, what we're doing here in aggregation is we're loading up this file here, which is essentially the Excel file I just showed you. And then we're going to, when we load that up, we're just going to create a variable called group by one. And then we're basically grouping it by sales region and volume. But what we're doing with the sales region and volume is we're basically saying is sum up the sales and sum up the account volume and then gives us some an account of it. All right. So in this instance, uh, we know, if we go back here, Carlo, there's two entries for it, and the sum total is 226903. So in that instance, this is summed up as a count of two and a sum for Carlo of 226903. So that's done by actually when you do the group by function, you then add in the dot aggregate function here, and you best basically name the columns that you're uh, aggregating on. Or you want to aggregate, so we're basically sum up all the, the sales region um, and sum up the volume. So the sum, so the sum of the sales region is two two six nine zero three based on the values here in volume. Okay, and based on the values here in volume, and then we're basically counting the sales region. So the sales region in this instance, there's two values for that. All right, so if we go down here, we also give you another example, they're all one, one, and two. So here's Mead, is one, 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 five, five, two, four, all has two values in sale at male. So if we go back here, and if we find Mead, again, it's two values, uh, one, five, five, two, four, all. Okay, so that's an easy and quick way of aggregating um, by using the values in the data. So let's move on. So next what we want to do is we want to bring in an additional piece of uh, information which might or might not be useful but it's building on the last one. Uh, so the last one we just grouped by sales region and volume and we're doing the same again and we aggregated the sum the count which is the same again but in this instance we want to get the mean. So the mean obviously is the average, so it's the sum total of everything, um, the volume divided by the number of items. So in this instance, it's very straightforward. What the mean is doing is basically taken as an example, Carlos value divided by two, and it gives you that value. Very, very straightforward, but very, very handy if you're ever looking for output and you're looking to have mean or an average in it. Again, if we go down, you'll see here Donegal, that divided by two, down here there's another one two so this again a mayo is basically is two two item data items total is that but we need to get the average of, because it's only two items the average of those two is that value okay so that's essentially it's the same as this one here but what we've done is we've added in the mean so moving on what we're going to do is um, basically we're going to look at binning or bucketing the numerical values, okay? 
Um, and what this the whole idea of this is that you, what you want to do is say if a value is in a certain between a certain range, then we'll put it into a certain bucket. So the way we do this is we obviously we're going to create a import as normal. We're going to create the data frame. Um, and what we're going to do is put the data. I'm sorry, dv volume is going to equal the data frame, uh, pd data frame. Then what we're going to do is create a new column called volume bin. And what's that? That's going to do is it's going to go into the data frame. It's going to cut it based on volume here, and it's going to look at that volume each value in that volume and then basically create a bin and what the bin here is basically doing is we're creating a list but what it's also doing is saying that for each value in the volume see does it lie within this range if it lies within this range then put this value in the brackets in here okay so as an example we have we do know we have 206903 is obviously between these two. So 20,000, zero is between zero and 200,000, so on and so forth. So if we go down here, um, so we have a value here, 158996 is basically over here. All right, it's between 15, 1.5 million and 15 million. So just to be clear, there's no commas in there, so if it does look a little bit odd, that's what it is. But that's what how you would um, create bins and buckets and define a range for each value on your rows as you go down. As you can see here, there's no count or in this, so it, this is just the sum total. Uh, sorry, apologies, where did it go? This is the sum, it's basically, no, the individual value, should I say. Um, of the of what's on each row, so it's not counted up or totaled up in uh, as a value as you had in the previous ones. But let's go to the final one. Cover that, yes. Cover that. Um, so the sorry, the second last one. So what we have here is we have built on what's here, but essentially we put labels on. So here, you just basically had the, like a, a mini um, list and basically had what was the range. Here, we're actually going to put labels on it. And the good idea about labels is labels can uh, basically give you, define, let you to define the actual book is in a more meaningful way. So here, what well, was pretty easily understood what was going on and everything on here. This will actually put labels on it. And as you can see here, it basically um, has a bit more meaning. So down here, again, we what we do have is we have the bins. So it's exactly the same as the previous example, but we do have the bins. Um, but attached to the bins is um, a thing called labels. And what you do with the labels is you, you make sure there's a label for each value of this here. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we should have seven over there. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, sorry. I must just count that. Anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah, I think I was going on. It's just uh, excluding the zero here on this side. So essentially the labels as you can see here clearly define um what's going on. Um clearly help you to clearly understand if you were to show this in a meeting or export it to an excel sheet it basically has um it shows you the values in a more meaningful way okay so there you go uh, and again if we go up here they're individualized so they're not aggregated up because we don't use the aggregated function okay so the final one we're going to use um is we're just basically again we're just obviously doing numerical values we just want to do a very quick sum. And what this is doing is basically grouping grouping by sales region um, and volume. So in this scenario, what we're doing is we're basically showing, we're not showing duplicate sales region values, but we're showing that there's two values for the volume. All right, 
And uh, again, we just import all this, do a group by, um, by sales region and volume, and then just do a sum. And the sum essentially just shows you each value for the row that comes in. But in this scenario, it roll, roll, it roll, doesn't roll it up, but it just shows you one value, but it's the sales region, not two, that you would have normally seen. So that's some more examples of group by how you would do them, how you would achieve them. Hope you've got some benefit from that today. Again, we're on social media, give us a big follow on the YouTube page, um, YouTube video here, and on the page. And we will see you soon with more videos from Data Analytics Ireland. Take care and look after yourself.